Hey everybody, it's Steve with More Simple DMX. You can run your lighting rig with a hardware controller and it works well, but there are some limitations. You have to run a DMX cable directly from the controller as well as run power to it. And you are limited by the functionality that the manufacturer has built into the controller. So I wanna show you how you can run lights with an iPad. And this is an iPad Mini 2, and you can wirelessly control scenes. And the best part of all is the app that runs on this is a free app. So, in this video, we're going to look at what you need to get this thing set up and to get started. We're going to take a look at the app, which is called Vibrio. And then we're going to set up the fixtures in the app to match the uh, rig behind me. Uh, then we're gonna program some scenes and then we're gonna add effects to scenes. And that's one of the coolest things that this does is adding effects to scenes on the fly. To set this up, uh, besides for the iPad, which you need, obviously, you need an ethernet to DMX adapter and you need a router. I'm using an Apple Airport Express. I got this one used on eBay for 53 bucks. And there's several models of adapters uh, available online. They start around 150 bucks. So the router creates its own network that communicates wirelessly to the iPad. Then it passes the signal via an ethernet cable to the adapter and then the adapter has a uh, five pin DMX out cable and that runs into the back of the fixture. I've got this whole thing mounted up on my truss. So the app I'm using is called Vibrio. You can download it from the app store. The free version is limited to 16 DMX channels. You can upgrade to more channels at a reasonable price, but I'm using this free version for the purpose of this demo. And the very first thing, even before you use Vibrio, is you need to connect to the network that the Apple router is on. So I've named that network DMX Control. I'm choosing it. Now you can see I'm connected to DMX Control. Now I can go back to Vibrio, and when I check the connection status, it says that I'm connected to DMX Control. So now the next step is to start setting up fixtures uh, to match the rig. So this setup is pretty simple. There's four mini moving heads. Each one is in seven channel mode, and they're all set to a DMX starting address of one, so they're gonna move together. And then there are two PAR64 fixtures. Each is a six channel fixture, but I'm only gonna be using the first three channels, R, G, and B, to set the color. That's all we really need. So the first one is set to a starting address of eight, the second one is set to a starting address of 14, and that will maximize the use of our free 16 channels. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add some fixtures to match these fixtures here. So I'm gonna pick a tutorial for my show because it doesn't have any fixtures created yet. I'm not going to pick an existing manufacturer. I'm gonna create new and I'm gonna start adding attributes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add position, because they're moving heads. So I'm gonna add pan, and I'm gonna add tilt. And then I'm going to add beam, which is my dimmer control. And then I'm going to add color, and I'm going to add red, green, blue, and white and through trial and error, realize that I need to turn off these fader icons uh, in order to make this work properly. I'm gonna turn the icon into the moving head icon, and I'm gonna leave the starting address at one, and I'm gonna leave it at one fixture because all four fixtures are going to be moving together. I need to create a group um, get rid of this group. I need to create a group called Mini Moving Head. 
and I need, uh, this is already added to that group. So I'm gonna go back to the attributes. I'm gonna name this mini moving head. Okay, now I'm gonna add another fixture. I'm gonna add the PAR 64s. I'll hit create new, and I'm gonna add this now to two fixtures. That way I can control each of the uh, PAR 64s independently. I'm gonna add the attributes. So these are six channel lights. I'm gonna add the color, red, green, blue, and that's all I'm gonna use to control them, but I need to add three more channels so they'll be configured correctly. So I'm just gonna hit plus, I'm gonna hit beam, and I'm gonna just hit dimmer, dimmer, dimmer. I'm not really gonna use those, but just so it uses up the six channels. I'm going to turn off the faders on all of them. Now I'm gonna to go to groups. I'm gonna name this group PAR64, and I'm gonna add the fixture. I'm gonna call it PAR64. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create some scenes. So I'm gonna pick this show called Tutorial. I'm gonna hit this plus button and it's gonna give me a choice of folder, scene, or sequence. I'm gonna pick scene. I'm gonna click scene and I'm gonna hit edit. And you're gonna see now the groups that we just created, Mini Moving Head and PAR64. So if we select the Mini Moving Head, here are the channels that we created when we set up the fixture. The seven, and I've got pan, and I've got tilt, and I can enter exact values for the dimmer. I'm gonna enter 134 because that's my max dimmer value. And then I can set red, green, or any of my other uh, parameters. So on this particular one, let's uh, tilt this down to there. And let's name this scene one. And now let's create another scene. We'll go to edit. And on this one, we'll pick par 64. Let's select just this one light. And let's put up the red on this. And then we'll deselect it, select this light put the green up on it, and then let's hit the mini moving heads, and let's need to turn them on. I'm going to put the dimmer up. I will put red to here. We'll pan these over like this, and we'll tilt them that. And we'll name this scene two. And now when we go back you'll see that we have each of these scenes. And we double click them. When you double click it'll go to the scene that you created. Okay, and now I want to show you how you can add uh, effects to these scenes. This is really neat. If we call up scene two, and then we go into edit, and when we select the mini moving heads, you'll see an effects panel, and you can stack effects. So I can add circle, they will start circling. I can add rainbow, and they'll cycle through colors, and you can add or subtract these effects on the fly. I could go to the PAR64, I could add white flash, um, take that off, I could add rainbow, they'll cycle through rainbow colors. While that's going on, I can go to the mini moving heads, I can hit those back to circle. So you can do all this on the fly and really, uh, without a lot of programming, add some great effects live. 
Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for your subscriptions. Next time we're going to take a deeper dive into Vibrio. We're going to look at programming shows, uh, transition times in the shows, MIDI control, which was an important feature for me. We'll be looking at the upgraded version so we can run a more complex show and also a little bit more detailed version of how to set up the interface. So uh, stay tuned for that and we'll see you next time. Bye.